Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix monitor randomly goes to a black screen on your Windows laptop or PC. If you're using a PC, then make sure that your video power cable has been properly connected. You can check that by taking it out, wait for a few seconds and then plug it back again. This you have to check from both of your monitor and also from your CPU. If you have done that, then you have to run a SFC scan on your PC so that if there is any kind of corrupted files that probably is causing an issue that will be fixed automatically. On your Windows search, type CMD. From the suggestion, choose Run as Administrator. The black window will be coming up and here you have to type SFC space forward slash scan now. Hit enter. So this will start the processing and it will take some time because you can see the verification is 5% complete. It will be verifying all the file and scanning all the files. So what you can do, you can minimize it. And meanwhile, we can do the other troubleshooting steps. The next thing that you need to assure that the screen saver has been set to none because sometime accidentally or may probably you have intentionally enabled it and that's going to a blank screen you can easily do that by clicking on your search on your windows 11 windows 10 windows 7 click on your search box and look for a screen saver type a screen saver and from the suggestion choose turn a screen saver on or off the screen saver settings will be coming up now here you see screen saver make sure it's been selected to none okay if it's been selected to blank you will be having the same problem where the screen will go to a blank screen that's a screen saver and that probably can be an issue so you have to assure it's been set to none once you have done that now below that you will find change power settings click on change power settings in case if you don't find it here you can also uh, go to your search box and look for change power settings now once you come here you may see different performance options here you may see two you may see three or four whichever it's been selected to you have to click on change plan settings and it says turn off the display you have to choose it to never and after that click on change advanced power settings another box will be coming up here you have to look for pci express double click on it below that you will find link state power management double click on it again and make sure the setting has been set to off okay so if, if it's moderate power settings maximum power savings then you have to assure that you choose off once done click on apply and then on okay all right then click on save changes you can now close it then click apply and then on okay now we are remaining with one more important solution that is updating your graphic your monitor driver all you have to do look for your windows icon on your screen and make a right click on it and then choose device manager device manager screen will be coming up here you will find monitors double click on monitors and your monitor will be displayed here make a right click on it and choose update driver then choose search automatically for drivers so if you get this message it means that you have the updated version of your uh, monitor driver and if there are any updates available it will be automatically updating it so once you are done you can close it now you also need to look for display adapters and here you will get your display adapter make a right click on it and choose update driver then search automatically for drivers so even if you get the same message it means that your all kind of drivers are properly updated and if there are updates available it will automatically update it once you are done with all the setting come back to the black screen where we were running the ssc scan and you can see it says windows resource protection found corrupted files and successfully repaired them so there was also some corrupted file probably that might be the reason so we have applied all the solutions now now you can restart your pc and i'm pretty sure that your problem will be fixed and if yes make sure you hit the like and subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next video Bye bye